Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I got my boxy charm today and I've been so excited to unbox it, but it was a f international family day. So I had to go spend some time with my family and I'm back now. So it's not even opened yet. If that's something that you are into, then stay tuned. If not, go back and watch one of the old videos. Or wait, something will be along. This is a big box. I already know what my choice item is, so there's a sneak peek. The theme is Flourish, and my variation number is C2105112-B. B-A. So my choice item was the Murad. This is supposed to be $74, detoxify and revitalize skin overnight, a daily dose of pollution and blue light from electronic devices can accelerate visible signs of aging. This breakthrough formula contains supercharged antioxidants that neutralize pollutants and strengthen skin's barrier while you sleep. I wish I could tell you how much it was in add-ons because it's probably $12. This is the honest channel where I promise I will be as honest as I can be because I ain't paid shit. <laughs> it's just me. It smells all right. So I don't know why I had to smell it. it. Has like this little pump that you pump up. That sound is so cool to me. I should. The next thing on my list is Skin Ink, a cocktail of collagen. Coenzyme Q10, Hyaluronic Acid, Encapsulated Serums from Japan. Ooh, la la. This is supposed to be 50, no, $65. Are they out of their mind? <laughs> Very, very cool. People say they like things on their stands and stuff. That. And it's even sealed. That's nice. It has like, it feels interesting. doesn't smell like anything. Again, I don't know why I had to smell that. I just smell everything for some reason. The things in it are very, very cool. Cool, cool. Cool. $56 for that though? Skin Ink, my daily dose of uplift. This skin reviving serum with encapsulated collagen Coenzyme Q10 and hyaluronic acid delivers an anti aging power punch. <sighs> Giving you smoother, firmer, and younger looking skin. Mm -hmm. We'll see. The next thing is from Trey Steve. 
I got something from them in a different box before. It was mascara and eyeliner. Weird combination. It's very, it took me like five minutes to figure out that this was a lid though. I was like, hmm, I think I lost my lid. <laughs> a total dumbass moment. But this is a brow. Sorry, but I have perfect brows already, so I don't really have to use this. But my daughter, she always complains that her brow, like, oh, I need to do things to my brows. I think personally that her brows are perfect, but she thinks otherwise. Tristique Refillable Brow Pencil and Gel. Refillable? That's a big claim. Hmm. I don't want to break it. They say there's something else in this end. Ooh. That kind of smells funny. But it smells like every other mascara product. <laughs> uh, refillable. Keeps you forever. Keep, you, keep your forever case and refill your brow pencil and gel to your heart's content. Cool. From the materials to the packaging, everything was developed through a lens of sustainability. Better for you and for the planet. The brow pencil features a developed features <laughs> triangular shape tip to define brows while flexible Tinted gel on the other side, grooms and sets. It's everything you need for natural looking and perfectly sculpted brows. I already have those. So I'll be giving that to my daughter. And a two in one lipstick balm. From Sophia and Maybell. Oh yeah, this was twenty six bucks, boxy charm price, not add on price, boxy charm price. I always go back later and give you the price of what it will be in add ons because it's substantially different, substantially, like. $26, it'll probably be under 10 in add-ons. Sophia and Maybell Hydrating Hybrid Lipstick. This hydrating hybrid is a lipstick and a lip balm in one. It's packed with vitamin C, no. It's packed with vitamin E to keep those lips silky smooth. My lips are very dry but with the full coverage of a satin finish lipstick. Bring this baby with you anywhere you go and apply when you're in need of a little extra moisture with a subtle pop of color. 15 bucks, MSRP. Probably be $3 in add-ons. <laughs> It's, um, it's brown. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty nice color, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Such a moron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing is a palette. 
I haven't gotten a palette from BoxyCharm in a, in a couple months, actually. In a couple of months. So that's exciting. <laughs> the Cab Cosmetics Day Tonight Palette. I've seen a couple of reviews of it and it looked like a pretty... It looked like a pretty gen... Oh, every day. Like, I don't know. It's nice. It's shiny. It's pretty nice. I will swatch Twinkle Twinkle. Ooh, that's, I like that. I don't know if you can see that with my, oh, yeah, there you go. And, hmm, burgundy. I like those ones that you just have to go in one time and they produce color like boom. Midnight. Like those are just going in once. Sunset, and I feel nice and creamy. Some of them are my, like this is sunset and it's kind of like my skin tone. Um, let's do a couple mattes. This is terracotta. Wow. Very, very, very pigmented. Burnt orange. Wow, that's surprising. Like, I find that those colors are hard colors to get. Let's try sand. Let's see how this one shows up on my skin tone. Very nice. That's nice. Thank you very much, Boxy Charm. I'm looking for a palette, waiting for a palette. So that's my box. Oh wait, I'll read about this. Cab Cosmetics Day and Night Eyeshadow, a palette. This palette has a hot new formula and new sustainable packaging. Cool. Everybody's trying to go with the low carbon footprint by 2050 or something something like that something nature-y like that uh with 18 highly pigmented shades to create your look for both day and night all in one product use the softer lighter shades to create your favorite daytime looks and play around with those bolder darker shades for a more intense nighttime look but mm, i wouldn't even say it 52 bucks, new launch. 52 bucks? Trustique new launch. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> Lies. That's a lie. Because I just said, Cobb Cosmetics, I got in a boxy charm a couple months ago. So that's a lie. It's not a new launch. I don't know what they're trying to say. And Cobb Cosmetics isn't a new launch either. Maybe the formula is a new launch. It must be the formula and the packaging and whatnot. So that is everything. Let me get the packaging all put away. And this is that, and that's my box. That'll be my thumbprint, thumb, thumbprint, thumbnail, thumbnail, that, or this. <laughs> so that was everything. I should add it up. I hate even doing that because I know, I know. 
But this price is not the price that we get in the frickin' add-on store. But they got you because you have to be subscribed to BoxyCharm in order to get items from the add-on shop, from the pop-up shop. So they kind of got you by the kahunas, right? Am I right? So last month, pop-up shop, I kind of went like, was thing, I bought some things for myself because I seen the products and I'm like, hmm. So I'm just going to show you quickly what I got. So I got the Glam Glow uh, Super Mattify. It's like a primer. It looks like that. It's like super bougie. And then you get this pink scoop. And then the product is in there. So you scoop up that. And it's for... It's like a primer for oily skin. Hopefully it doesn't make me break out, but we'll see. And then I got this Iconic London palette. I have the other, the Day to Slay palette. This one is the Sunrise to Sunset. And it looks like that. So nice. The yellow, though, just kind of fades into nothing. So those, it must be like a, a base color, but it is really nice. And I know that their formula is really nice too. But like when they're on there, they're on there. Don't mind my fat arms, my flappy arms. That was Ibiza Nights, and this one is Havana. I'll show you that one. It's called, like it looks yellow, and then you put it on, and it's kind of just goes into nothing. I don't know, that banana color is really hard to perfect, really hard. But I'm excited to uh, play around in that and see what I can do. The next thing I got was a bullet lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. I think that this is the first MAC product I've ever bought for myself. Look at this color. It's called Candy Yum Yum. So awesome. I love that. I'm addicted to pinks. Like, I love pink. And it's funny, the pink on this matches the pink on that. So, pink, pink. And the last thing I got was this eye makeup remover from Tony Moly. Tony Molly. I don't know. I heard just Anne say Tony Moly. Tony Molly, I thought it was Tony Molly, I don't know, but it's Minion Eye Makeup Remover. That's so cool that it's like that. But I bought this for my daughter, so that is hers. Look, look at that in there. Can you see that? There's supposed to be niacinamide and some good things in there anyways, but that's hers. So that's everything. That is my boxy base box, $25 a month, US. So for me in Canada, it comes out to about $40 with the shipping. So. Um, yeah, when, like it, it works out, like you still get your money's worth every month and then you have access to all those hot items that I told you about in pop-up and 
add-ons, so you can't go wrong with the boxy charm. This has been my complete, honest review of my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, go watch somebody else's video. I'm still going to be here. So like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and come back for more the next time. And that one person who always dislikes my videos, you know who you are. You can send this video to your haters. And they'll lose two minutes of their life. Or they'll like me and come watch the rest of my videos. So, up to you. It's up to you. Anyways, I'm going. I never know how to end these videos. I always just yammer on and on and on and on and on. So, if I haven't already said it. Like and comment, subscribe if you want to. And like I say on my Instagram, be the realest you you can be. Peace. Love you. Cheers from Canada. And I'll see ya in my next video. Bye. <laughs>